going on everybody welcome back to the channel i'm steven this is steven in stereo and in today's video we're going to be checking out a band that we've actually reacted to before the band is loveless i've only heard like maybe two songs from them before and i know one was a cover so i'm really looking forward to today's video which is i love it when it rains i want to give a huge shout out to nadia over on patreon for actually requesting this thank you so much uh if you guys just want to drop a like on the video that'd mean a lot to me but with all that out of the way let's check out i love it when it rains Oh, I like that riff. You know it's good when the when the riff sounds good on its own, but it sounds even better once like everything else is introduced. That's when you know you just you fucking nailed it. You could play that the entire time. Help, you won't let me in. Ooh. Been there before, been there before. We both been through hell. You're not alone anymore. Oh. I talk about this a lot, but I'm such a big fan of like alternative bands that have just insane vocal ranges. I mean, I often liken it to just like somebody who would have been good in just about any genre. Like they have the range to do like really popular music, but then they, you know, have a love for the alternative space, right? And like, so you just have these like incredible vocalists that come out of these bands. And I think that uh, this dude is one of them. I think his name's Julian. I should make sure that's right. I don't want to just say that. Julian. Okay. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> wouldn't that be awful if I was like, yes, it's Julian and his name's like so far away from that. Maybe we don't wake up from this nightmare. Wait, what was that? What was that? Hey, I see that smirk. Oh, yeah. Those fucking harmonies. Oh, my God. <laughs> Fuck, yeah. What? Dude, I love the fucking range of his voice. Yes. Oh my God. It makes me so fucking nostalgic for like the early 2000s, like gaining, like the real, like, gaining of popularity of bands like Hawthorne Heights and Silverstein. Silverstein's one of my favorite bands of all times. But when those bands started to gain a little bit more like mainstream popularity, especially with things like Fuse TV and stuff, just airing music videos all day. Um, I was such a big fan of how great those vocalists were and how, you know, you can incorporate these like aggressive vocals, but still have so much melody. And, uh, you know, this was going on for a long time before that, but those are bands that I just fell in love with immediately. I love hearing that kind of evolution in this because it gives me like nostalgia but you can tell that this is very new and very fresh but it's just inspired by some really cool fucking eras of music oh that fucking riff right there it hurts to be making the same mistakes i know sometimes when we bend we break we've been here before we've been Damn, those fucking harmonies. Making the same mistakes. I know sometimes when we bend, we break. Mm. We've been here before, we've been here before. I know it feels like hell, wishing for something more. Another sleepless Ooh. night. We drift away to oblivion. Maybe we don't wake up from this nightmare we're living. Oh, I can't wait for this. Let's go. Dude, his voice does something really cool right there. Let me see if I can hear it. Down, baby, it it 
Yeah, the way he says Reigns right there, listen to like where like Reigns, where that word ends, like what he does with his voice is it's such a small thing, but shit like that makes me so stoked about music. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, I have to do it again. I'm sorry. This is just... This is just the way my brain works. Oh, dude, that's so good. I need to learn the words to this immediately and sing this in my car. Yes, Julian, let's go. Fuck. Oh, dude, he is so fucking good. Oh my god. What the fuck even just happened through that bridge? This band, we are not talking about this band enough. What the fuck? Oh yeah. Dude, I'm so annoying. I don't even care. What the fuck? vocals i'm sorry I, you cannot listen through this without fucking rewinding this thing a million times like he is doing so much vocally i can barely pay attention to anything else god damn Shit, I, this is the song. Like, what the fuck? Oh. Dude, I have so much to say right now. Julian is an incredible fucking vocalist. Um, I'm so glad I know his name so that I can be such a nerd for a second. It's so sick because it gives me like this like Sleeping With Sirens meets like Emma Rosa kind of sound in such a cool way while still having its own fresh feel i just it's so cool to be able to hit like some of the best parts of other bands and make your own identity out of that and i think it's so fucking cool to hear this i love how well written this song is like i'm how let me see this has 231,000 views in 12 days which is a lot for this genre so that's so fucking cool already but this song is going to be a summer anthem. It's so fucking catchy. Those guitars are so melodic. They're written so well. That is such an amazing riff. Like when you hear a riff that you like, you hear it play once and you're like, oh, I'm fucking into this. And then the, it just progresses in such an amazing way. Fucking love that. And you get that in this. And one of the things that I really love about the song, too, is that these verses are fucking cool. And they lay this awesome groundwork for what is one of my favorite choruses I've heard in a long fucking time. That energy that goes in is so big. It is just like this, you know, when you're seeing this band live, you're sitting there and you're like, oh, I can't, I can't wait. Like we got going through this verse. This is so sick, but you're waiting for that first time because you're so excited. You know, it's about to come and Julian's about to just fucking crush these vocals. But I think my favorite thing about this, even though those are like, that chorus is everything. That bridge there's so much going on there. I'm going to have to listen to the song like a million times now because I don't even really know what was going on lyrically because the music's so great, but Julian's vocals in that bridge, I don't even, my brain could not process that on one listen. So I'm definitely going back and checking out way more of this. I, this is going to be the song on everyone's playlist for the road trips. Like I, uh, 
showing my age a bit, although they're still around, but a day to remember has been a band for a long time. Um, but be- there was a time when that band started and used to listen to them so much. And they are, they were my road trip band. Um, I, I, in fact, they still kind of are like, there's just one of those bands where it's like every song is so catchy. You can sing every one of them at the top of your lungs. And I've always been such a fan of that. And this is one of those songs. And I feel like if they continue on this path, which I don't really know what they've done um, since the last time I've checked them out, but I can already tell if they were to stay on this path, dude, there's, you're only going up. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Huge shout out to Nadia on Patreon. Thank you so much for requesting this video and supporting me. Make sure you guys drop a like. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.